What's up guys? I'm just driving home right now and I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, so I was thinking, you know, when it comes to making music and getting that music out to people, you know, like I've been in a situation, right, where not even a situation, like a whole, <laughs> a whole experience really of, you know, when I was releasing every single week for over two and a half years, I was releasing every single Friday a new track and everything like that. And it really put into perspective a lot of things. Now, it really did help me like build on my release radar. Now my release radar is like so heightened to where like, I can just drop anything on a Friday and it's gonna get a ton of views from my, or streams from my release radar um, just by default. And it's just like, you know, basically like getting streams from a playlist, right? It doesn't matter if it converts or not. I mean, it's, it's a nice thing to have, you know, on the first week of a release and it's a good way to get something started. But overall, like it's just release radar, right? So that in that aspect, like doing that was really great. But one thing that I really started really taking notice of is that over time you start to realize you know, you can make a song that, you know, has a catchy hook or like, you know, some fire bars or whatever, you know, like has a really cool beat or a great drop or whatever the case may be, right? Um, but the thing is, is that like, if that track doesn't connect to an audience in a way beyond like, you know, like, oh, I like that song because it's really catchy or, oh, I like that song because, um, you know, it, it gets me some good, you know, reps in, you know, in the gym or something like that, right? Um, that's one thing. But, like, when a song really connects to somebody, like, sticks to, st like, sticks with them for a long time to where, like, not only do I love this song, I want to show other people this song. I want to show my family, my friends this song. Um, like, I can't wait to see what somebody's reaction is when they hear this song. You know what I'm saying? And that is like the, that's what separates from like a good song to like something that like can last for a really long time. And like that has the longevity um, to really like do something special um, instead of just being another song on somebody's like gym playlist, right? And when, when you think about it that way, it's like, I need like if somebody asked me they were like you know how do i um how do i make you know good tiktoks or how do i make good video content or how do i make um you know come up with a good song idea or whatever and i was like that's it a good idea that's what it starts off with a good idea and like if that good idea happens to be something that you went through that's you know that personally um, affected you in like a real genuine way that you can write and put on the paper and put into a song, you know, um, and it connects to an audience, whoever that audience may be, then awesome. If it has to do with some kind of subject outside of your life and you can connect to that audience as well, you know, then awesome, you know, that's great. So that's really what it comes down to is just like, my main point is, is just, you know, like, it's okay to make, you know, good songs and, you know, like, what is a good song, right? But, like, you know, like, oh, it has a catchy hook or, oh, this beat is fire or whatever. But, like, what separates that song from a great song? And that is really the connection that you create from your song to another person. And what really, like, makes a song go from, like, you know, getting you know, a bunch of streams in the beginning and then falling off later. It, you know what I'm saying? Cause I have tons of those. I have tons of songs that, you know, used to get a lot of streams and now they don't get as many streams because it, the fad is over, right? And so, yeah, and, that, and that's gonna happen to everybody. So it's like, how can you create something that is like so special that people are going to want to go back to like years from now it's like, oh man, I want to hear that song again. Or they're always going to listen to that song throughout their life. Like, and I know it seems like a tall task. It seems like maybe even impossible at times, 
but like it doesn't matter what your skill level it is well i mean maybe to a certain degree but like or like what the mix is or anything like that what it really comes down to is like what are you saying in your song and what is it that is going to connect to people in such a real way that it will keep them coming back and so yeah i don't know just just think about that you know when you're coming up with a song idea and you're starting to record it like is this something that like connects on that level you know like maybe you know i mean those kind of songs are good to have um outside of that but like like what is the goal what is the goal and i think the goal for me personally is to create something that you know people are going to want to come back to time and time again but anyway my drive is done so uh hope you guys got some uh some information out of this or not just information but some value out of this video and uh you know it's not gonna be any cuts or edits or whatever but hope you guys enjoy this rant anyway zilla mode out peace out